Okay, well, great. We um, start with the lake. Um, it is 341, so we usually call this special board meeting uh, to order. Um, quick roll call. Uh, we can start at this end of the table. Um, and then Morris, District 4. Katie Larson, District 5. Carly Cooper, District 1. Kenneth Noyan, so Representative. Jan Boulder, Jeff, District 2. And um, welcome to our guests online. Um, thank you for being here. Um, so we'll move to uh, approve today's agenda. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, all right. Now we've got one item of discussion. So um, we've had, um, there's in the, um, this year, 2019, in November, there's going to be elections for actually now four of the five board positions. Um, it's everybody except director one uh, or district one. And so, and two directors, uh, Director Morrison, uh, Director Bolajak, have announced they're not going to be running uh, for two and four. So um, the the filing deadline, which almost nobody knows about except just to really pay attention for uh, trying to get on the ballot in the winter of for any uh, candidate position in the state um, is uh, May 19th. So it's that week of May 15th to May 19th. <clears throat> and so um, I think it, uh, like to make sure that as a district or in, individually, we're getting the word out about that early so that, uh, particularly in, in District 2 and 4, that um, our community is aware that that position is open and that um, this is how you go about applying for it. And we had a suggestion from our um, race and equity training folks uh, that. Um, uh, we also include in those announcements kind of an invitation to, to people of color to apply because we're trying to get uh, a board more representative of the community and of our students. So um, I wanted to just check and make sure that it's that's see if uh, you know if that's on the uh, list for the. Um, the district to do because I think the district can do all those things. And then if there's any other discussions or any other ideas about how we could reach out to the community to encourage uh, folks to uh, apply for that position. The other uh, part of it I know we've done in the past is to be sure to, in the invitation, to make sure that anybody who's interested in it can talk to the district, they can talk to the board member. In the past, I thought that several people wanted been interested in applying, and so just to give them an idea about what the position is. So um, anyway, I just want to make sure that you can think on the. We have two months now to, to do that, and so they get things on the to-do list to make sure that we're reaching out and getting that done. So hopefully, get the you know people to apply for that position. So that helps. That's kind of a break from any other ideas, and then and then. Hear from maybe Dr. Erdin uh, about uh, what he thinks the district can actually do in that time frame. Yeah, thanks so much for uh, that kind of framing um, when you were talking about it. I was just writing down a few notes. I mean, I think um, a few things uh, we, you know, we talked, I, I know I shared that we met a few weeks ago back with the PICSD and um, I, I talked even just the other day with um, uh, Robert Peterson again about like what supports uh, may be available from even the ESD. So I think it's what can our district do, and also what can they, what other supports they might be able to do. Um, uh, I think I remember him mentioning something about a community engagement team that they have. Right. So are there ways that we could utilize some of their staff um, to help us engage in some some um, uh, campaign uh, support work, whatever. Um, so there are a few things that I think that I'm thinking about, um, you know, I, I know there are a lot of probably a million reasons that we can hypothesize around about why folks um, aren't um, uh, running more um, competitively for board positions. Um, but also I think that 
Um, we haven't really done enough information gathering to really understand more concretely why, right? So I'm making assumptions in my head about why folks start running. And it's likely that some of those are true. And there's also probably a lot more complexity to that. Um, and so I'm really interested, and I know that this would be kind of a, a, a commitment of time from probably every single one of us and again hopefully support from the ESD and the district to maybe engage in like a one month so like between in the month of April like an, a, a wide campaign so really trying to understand what are the barriers for folks engaging more um, interactively with the board both um, you know just in the work that we do and as a member of the board um, because I think if we can do that, then we can really quickly think about here are some things that we're going to do over the next four months between when you file for election and when you, you may be voted in that we're going to change the way how we operate, right? To make it more feasible, more acceptable um, to whoever wants to um, engage in the work of the board. So that was something um, that I was thinking, a few other just random ideas, like we make signs, like campaign signs, but not campaign signs, right? And don't stand on the corner and just, I don't know, do something like that. Um, tabling at school, so maybe picking a few afternoons um, uh, every single week where we're splitting up um, and members of the board are going and just sitting when um, at pickup and drop off and talking to parents about um, opportunities to join the board. Um, maybe going to uh, bring attention about going to PTA meetings. Um, so another thing that came up in a big way in the PSCSD conversation is, and in conversations that we've had so many times about listening to folks is going where they are, right? So how can we identify in the next few weeks where are these folks that we keep talking about, right? We're talking around, right? But how can we really go to those folks and say, hey, like you said, um, you know, that their advice was to be explicit about communication. Let's go um, and figure out how we can be face-to-face -face and be explicit about the invitation to those folks. So really doing the work of figuring out where are those places. Um, and, you know, Director Wolodjad, I imagine you have um, some insight into that. I think leading into um, Temple of Children's Foundation, they're going to have some insight into that. Um, I think that's a huge opportunity for us, not only in the next two months, um, but also continuing through November. So this is not a quick thing, but we do have a timeline that I think, again, requires some um, so we're going to see the game potentially some commitment. Um, so those are my thoughts. Sorry, I know that was a lot of things. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Carly, in that we can be more proactive on this. Um, and I think we also are proactive out there in recruiting and uh, inviting people to consider and all of that. I think we can also and, and listen. So then when, when we hear things, we need to come back and reflect and say, gosh, is it because we're meeting at dinner time? Is it because, you know, uh, of the time commitment? Is it because we're only speaking English at the meetings? You know, what is it that uh, we're doing that might be a deterrent for someone joining us? And I don't, I don't know that we've had that kind of reflection as a group. Um, we need some input, but I think some of the stuff could be fairly obvious if we yeah. dare to think outside the box. So kind of where we go from here, do we want to, um, so you're suggesting uh, having somebody come on ESD? Um, or we go there or something? Yeah, I think, and I'm not sure like logistically how it would work, but it would be Dr. Kernan that would make, uh, you know, just talk with um, um, John. Well, John Welch, well, thank you. So sorry. Um, uh, and, uh, or it would be us and we're kind of meeting collectively with um, some of them. Um, I, I'm not sure. I think that would be a question for Dr. Kernan, but I think um, uh, uh, welcoming the invitation <laughs> from them to support um, and knowing that that in part is what they're here to do, I think would be silly about that. I think that feels like a good next step. Um, uh, yeah. My, my commitment is to reach out to District 2, which means Cascade View, Showalter, Foster, um, and showing up at some community uh, gatherings, whether it's PTA or whatever. Um, talk to the principals about who they see taking leadership among their um, 
well, among the parents or community um, and just following up with some of them in some personal conversations. I, I had the conversation with Dr. Primstead and um, I'm, I haven't followed up with her, I'll admit I have not, and I need to do that. So that's my commitment to really work in District 2 to see if we can surface some folks that um, would be interested and, and invite them to a meeting and we'll see what we do. Yeah. And I, and I talked to the principal on District 4, uh, and we've done a little bit of brainstorming. And then I can also do some of the, um, the church at the road, mm -hmm. tap into, I'll, I'll go up there and speak there. Um, any other suggestions? I appreciate so. So that one's in your area. Yeah. Cool. So it sounds like, I mean, so do the district reach out and information on those communication things, and then, and then those two, and then, you know, um, I don't know. Doctor. Yeah. Events. Yeah. Yeah. Food. The liaison there. And I think this is a little bit separate too from like the the, the why. Campaign thing that I think we should do. Um, I mean, they can certainly go 100% together and you'll be gathering a lot of information. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but, you know, I think too, thinking about how we're you know, maybe getting this input also from District 1 and mm -hmm. your district as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, if we can think about kind of those two components coming together to be our approach. Yep. To... And I think one of the things that we're going to go to two more. They just yeah, have one. Yeah. Um, do we have, have um, I know like I have a few on my calendar, but do we have a, like a holistic list of when all PTAs are meeting? Um, it should be, it should be on Carrie's report every week, right? Yes. <laughs> it should be the national study is on like the seven of the calendars. Okay. And I think too, the PTAs now they also have two of the PTA batteries located. Oh, cool. So, is there something that we could create to put on this? Yeah. Like a video? Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dr. Herndon, does it feel feasible that um, some folks from your team could support us in making like some social media um, posts or some social media campaigns that will um, we have to put on PTA Facebooks and such? Yeah, certainly. We can work on that and support that as much as possible. Um, we also have a, a new flyer that we are planning on sending out to the three districts that are um, up for election this year, so we're we're looking at that as well. So the fact that be four districts up for election this year. Yeah, sorry, four. I forgot the term. Yeah. Okay. With the vacancy that has to run this year too. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I think the other one is the parent advisory. I'm not sure how much they're uh, when they're meeting, but that's another group to go. Check yeah, what I can do with my team is just put together some um, of the possible groups and then uh, the board can review those. And uh, if there are some additional ones, that's for sure we can do that. Then we can figure out the best way to communicate out the opportunities, information and other possible meetings um, that you might want to have uh, or opportunities for people to converse with board members. Could, could we also preview the flyer? Yeah, we can make that similar to the postcard we're planning on sending out anyway. So we could look at a flyer. No, I mean, could we preview the postcard then? Yes, that's what I, I sorry if I wasn't okay. clear on that. I, we have a postcard ready that I'm happy to have the board preview. Okay, thank you. And then the, the last thing I think would be the um, the engagement with 
uh, the the ASD. Um, and wondering, uh, my assumption is, Dr. Herman, that would go through you um, to kind of take the next steps in asking them for supports in um, us kind of engaging in a in a why um, campaign, or we can call it something totally different. But um, this is what came to mind. Um, but is that the appropriate next step? Yeah, I'll contact uh, Superintendent Welch there. He had inquired the progress on filling the vacancy anyway. And as we know, the PSCSD had given us an extension until the end of March anyway. So I'm, I want to give them an update of what's happened thus far. Okay. Great. Um, and I think just due to like kind of the urgency um, and the time frame. I mean, I think if we could have kind of a general outline of what an April campaign would look like um, for the, the next board meeting, I think that would be, and I know that might be a little bit of a stretch, but again, just understanding that we're kind of in a time, a time crunch here. We um, want to update on the April campaign for the next board meeting. Yeah, so like maybe what the next steps are with the connection with the EFD, and hopefully by then we may have, you know, a, a, a meeting set up with them or some next steps in place um, to get that going. Yep, I can certainly inquire with them. Uh, the PSCSD board does only meet once a month and they met, they've already met for March, but it doesn't mean that individuals off the board uh, on that board wouldn't be able to meet with us. Cool. That sounds like a good, yeah, good plan. Some, Some good plans. I think okay. it's just about how um, that we should have done six months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Agreed. Um, all right. Any other thoughts, questions here? All right. So we will move now to our action item, which is the vote for the district three board director. So I accept a motion. So Okay, um, questions, comments? We do have a statement. Yeah, okay. Tom, I'm going to take your motion because it just says vote. It doesn't say vote approved or approved. Oh, got it. Got it. So um, the motion would be to approve um, the, the director district three, um, the appointment for the director district three. Um, do you want to? Um, yeah. Oh, for the uh, yeah, for for yeah, 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 for I think it was back in April, this position became vacant, and it's been you know almost a year um, that we've been trying to find somebody to fill it. And um, uh, we now have an applicant, and we came in, and she came in an interview. Um, the other kind of procedural issue is that when I look at our policies, this uh, vote does require three board members, so it's been I mean, as opposed to. A majority of the forum in this case it's the same thing but yeah anyway it does require three board members to approve this um and if um it's since we didn't fill it within the 90 days it, it, the, it actually went back to the esd and they have been uh giving us extensions and the latest extension is through the end of this month so if we don't fill it then they will come in and do whatever they may want to do um, at the end of or they may I mean, we don't know what they do, but anyway, we'll be back and back in the short. So that's just the, the procedural thing. So um so I'm gonna vote uh for this uh appointment. Uh we I thought we had a really strong we had uh, for those who may not have been aware, but there was just one candidate that came in for the interview, uh Brenda Berger. And I think she's got a lot of really strong points. She's she's bilingual, no Spanish. She comes from a multiracial uh, family. She's got an education background. Uh, prior to her career project management at Boeing, she was um, uh, actually taught school I had an education uh, bachelor's degree and taught school at Cam for three years. Um, she's on the diversity and equity committee at Boeing. Um, 
she is indicated a lot of passion for education. She has two sons that she indicated she's going to um, register in the district uh, for next year. Um, and uh, she has, again, a background in project management and IT. So I, I think she'd be a, just a great um, uh, addition and all the strength that she's going to bring to the board. So I'm wholeheartedly supporting her. So thank you. And I agree with you, Dave, on this point. So I would add, yes. Um, okay. Just one. Okay. Um, so this statement uh, represents in part the feelings and opinions of Director Bull Directors Bowler Jack and Hoover um, and is not reflective of the board as a whole. So first, I want to thank Ms. Berger for taking the time to go through this appointment process. Coming before the board for what is essentially a job interview took courage. I also want to thank you for your willingness to step into leadership and serve the Tukwila community. As you know, from your decade living here, Tukwila is a special community with so much radiant culture and brilliance. The role of a school board is to set policy and budget priorities that reflect, amplify, and lift the voices and experiences of the community to ensure that every student and staff member feels a sense of connectedness, belonging, and safety in our schools. Those things are foundational to academic growth. It is also our responsibility in our commitment to racial equity to ensure that every single child and youth's many identities are reflected in their teachers, administrators, volunteers, and policymakers. For the last several years, the school board has looked and operated from a very white dominant lens. We've at times fumbled over ourselves while we make mistakes and continue to ask for the community's trust and grace. We recognize the privilege it is to be in a position of power, to have the time to tend to the responsibilities necessary of an effective school board member. We have committed to honoring the many identities by working together over the coming months to understand more deeply the barriers that keep interested individuals from joining the school board. It is our hope to usher in a board that doesn't just speak on behalf of communities of color, but speaks from communities of color. We don't often get the opportunity like this one to make a decision on behalf of the voters of Tecuela and also those who are unable to vote. Um, we, when asked about the board's role in leading for racial equity, you spoke to the importance of leading by example and taking opportunities to influence diverse selection. Today, we are presented with an opportunity to stand in our commitment by voting in a way that honors our word with concrete action, rather than reinforcing the historic and systemic centering of white voices and decision-making spaces. This was to be a temporary position, seven months, that would be up for election in November. Rather than bring someone on temporarily, our hope is to lift up and encourage a diverse slate of candidates for the community to select from that offers greater representation for our students. For all of these reasons stated above, we are deciding to vote no on this appointment. Brenda, uh, we want to be clear that this has nothing to do with you. It's clear that you're passionate about serving those around you, you're willing to do the work, and you've got the perspective of both an educator and a parent. This decision today is reflective of our board's failure to more effectively outreach to and engage a broader audience within our district, as well as affirming our commitment and promise to the community and making our board more effective, uh, reflective of the students that we serve. It is our hope that you still choose to offer your skills, experience, and passion to serve and further the district's mission and effectiveness. We hope and ask that you help us in our work over these next months and beyond. Work alongside us and the community to make Tukwila School Board an authentic mirror of the student population it serves. Thank you. All right, so we will do now a roll call vote um, for the appointment of uh, uh, Brenda Berger for the director position three. I vote yes. Yes. Uh, no. No. All right, so the um, motion does not pass. Um, and uh, yeah. So with that being the only action on the table, we will now move to adjourn our meeting. So moved. Sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye.